Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. I got a small Scentsy haul in today. Well, it's not that small, I guess. And I just want to go over these bars with you. Um, so let's get started. So I finally did get some of the Scentspirations um, buttercreams. I was only able to get the gingerbread and the caramel. I wasn't going to get the vanilla because I already have um, a brick of that. And the peppermint was sold out. So I put that in my club which should ship out the beginning of December. I think I have that in my club. I may have decided that I just didn't think I needed that one. But what I did get is I got three of the gingerbread buttercreams. I have smelled these. And I love this gingerbread buttercream. I really do. I like gingerbread, but I just don't like some of the really harsh, spicy gingerbread. And this one is definitely not like that. It is just gingerbread mixed with the buttercream, and I really like it. So I'm happy to have those. I don't know that I'm gonna have to have any more, you know, than what I've got. I also grabbed three of the caramel buttercream. This one on cold, I like better than the gingerbread. It, it seems stronger. Yeah, I, I really like this. I, I've heard that they're all kind of light. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll melt them and see what I think. I don't think there are scents that I'm going to have to keep in my club. I think there's scents that I can make from other vendors, but we'll see how I feel about that. I picked up four of the winterberry apple tea. I've never had this. It's winter tea, cranberries, apple, and honey. And I see why people like this. I, I really like this one. I definitely want to warm this and see how it does in my open and that will determine if I put it in my club or not. So I don't know how fresh these bars are. I can't always find the pour dates or I just can't see. But I really like this. Definitely get that spice from the tea and the apple and cranberries. So yeah, I see why this is such a favorite of everybody. But I'm definitely, if this doesn't perform in my open concept, I'm not going to put it in my um, club. Um, I finally picked up the Perfect Day. I got two of these, Autumn Pear Spice Syrup and Bourbon. These are the first two that I've had of these. Um, I like the pear note in this. I honestly don't get a lot of bourbon. It, it honestly smells like soap to me. It smells like my brother's bathroom, whatever he uses in his shower. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Is this an open concept type of scent? To me, to me, I would say this is a bathroom scent. I wasn't expecting this at all. I was not expecting this to smell this way. I don't dislike it. It smells very clean to me, but it smells like a bathroom scent. So, got that. Then I picked up two Scarlet Sunflowers. Now, I've never had this one either. Um, apple, Red Cranberry, and Scarlet Sunflower. I actually really, really like this. I can't believe I waited this long to pick this one up. Um, it doesn't smell like cranberry to me. I definitely get the apple. And then whatever Scarlet Sunflower is, I don't know. But I really, really like this one. I hope this performs well. Anyone have any um, experience with Scarlet Sunflower? Does it perform? I'm sure it would take both bars in my open. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven warmers worth at least in my open and that bathroom. But I like this. Yeah, if this performs well, I'm going to keep this because I really like it. Then I got two bars of maple apple bourbon. Rich apple, no, red apple, rich maple and bourbon. Since he sure does a lot of maple, don't they? You know, 
I actually like this. I get all those notes. I get the maple, the bourbon, the apple. I really like this. We will see. We will see how it performs and if it's something that I need. I picked up two St. Nickerdoodle. I have a couple of these still in my collection. And I even think I've tossed one in my club for now. Um, baked apple spices and powdered sugar. This is definitely um, a cinnamon sugar apple type fragrance for me. Um, I really, really like it. A lot of people say that it smells like that one that they didn't bring back that everybody loved so much. Um, I don't know what it was called now. Apple and oats, maybe? Yeah, I like this. I don't know, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Am I gonna blend it? Am I gonna warm it on its own? I don't know, but I really do like that. So I do think I have one of these in my club that will ship out. And hopefully by the time January rolls around, I'll have, I'll know if I'm gonna keep it. I picked up two of the Orchard Apple and Spice. Orchard Apple Bright Cherry and Warm Spice. This is interesting to me. I'm not sure what I'm smelling here. I definitely get the warm spice. And I don't know that it's, it's really strange. It's, all, it's gotta be a blend of those two fruits because I don't get cherry and I don't get apple. So it's something that they're making together. I don't dislike it. It just isn't what I thought it was gonna smell like. I don't know what I thought it was gonna smell like. Um, I picked up one Velvet Moon. I've never had this. I assumed Velvet Moon was gonna be like a bedroom bathroom type scent, so that's why I only picked up one. Soft Vanilla Flower, White Musk, and Foggy Mist. And I like this a lot. I would, if I thought this was gonna be strong enough, I would put this through my whole house. I really, really like it. It takes me back somewhere. It reminds me of something. I think it might remind me of my first house I lived in when I moved back to my hometown. It smells like something I melted. My mom at the time owned a candle shop in town, so at the time, um, votives, oh, votives were huge, and I had all the little glass votive holders, and you put your votive down in there. But I had lots of candles, and it reminds me of something that I had from her and warmed in that house when we first moved in, because that's where this has taken me. I love this. Love, love, love this. Um, I got the scent of the month for November, which is um, sweet orange and evergreen. Evergreen, sweet orange, and cedarwood. Yeah, I really like this too. I think this smells um, just like Christmas. Just like a Christmas tree. I love it. I don't know how much more of this that I would need. You know, I might um, throw this in my club to pick up one more bar in December, and that's probably all I'll need, but that's a really nice one. I picked up two Harvest Blessings. I think I might have one of these in my collection. Uh, Radiant Apple Spice Pumpkin and Smooth Oak. And I think this is really nice too. I like a lot of these fall ones. Yeah, it is a, it's an apple pumpkin with that oak note in there. And I really like it. It's not too spicy. Yeah, I will enjoy melting that one. I picked up two of the first day of fall. Uh, pumpkin, autumn woods, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Yeah, this one is way different. I think I like the Harvest Blessings more than this one. That nutmeg. Nutmeg is a very just... Very strong spice, isn't it? You can definitely go overboard quickly with nutmeg. 
think I like that autumn woods notes that's in here though. But the nutmeg for me is kind of a, kind of the killer on that one. So I think I prefer, sorry, I had, my leg was asleep. I do think I like that Harvest Blessings better. Okay, two more, four more bars. Um, I got two of each. I got two of the Huckleberry Hideaway. And this one is Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and Crisp Woods. And I really, really like this one. This one is so sweet. A huckleberry to me is really, really sweet. And then that outdoorsy kind of, I think it's, I think I'm smelling the violet actually. Yeah, huckleberry and violet. And then it's kind of just bright. This one is bright to me. Really like that. It's not any way bakery. It's just a really bright scent. I like that. If that performs well, you never know. I might keep that one around. And then the next one I got is Tinselberry. And I got two Tinselberries. Strawberry, cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar. Yeah. Um, that strawberry mixed with that cranberry kind of lightens us up a little bit. So it's not your typical, you know, Christmas fruit, fruity cranberry scent. The first thing I get when I smell is the strawberry. And then it turns into the cinnamon on the cranberry. I like this one. I've never melted this one before. I think tinselberry has been around a while, hasn't it? I do want to place, I'm going to place another order before the end of the year. I've got my club coming with some stuff that I know I'm going to keep in my club and a couple of the um, license bars that I could only get by putting it in the club. But I want to get some of the cider scents. Um, Sips of Cider, Cedar Cider, and what is the other one? Bright Cider Life. I want to get two each of those. I don't have any of those. I don't know how that happened. I really would have thought that I would have those. Um, and then there's a couple other Christmas scents. Is there a, there's another cranberry one and be, be Merry maybe or something. Anywhere, there's like three, four, five. There's about six more bars that I don't have that I want to get. And then I'm definitely going to get another Velvet Moon. And maybe I might even get some more Scarlet Sunflowers. Because this one I really like too. It's a shock. This one is the big surprise for me. This one and Velvet Moon, big surprise. But yeah, I like both of those really well, so. And I don't think I have a whole lot of wax that smell like those either. You know, I can do, I can do bakery and, and that sort of thing all day long. But, um, but yeah. So I'm sure I will be coming to you with more Scentsy Hauls. So everyone, thanks for stopping by and I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow and I will be looking forward to seeing more of everyone's videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.